Okay, today is November 1st, 2018. I'm doing a quick update because today's a big day. I haven't been doing a lot of videos because I've been super busy. These are my uh, half logs, I guess they call them. D-links, D-logs, I forget what they call them. It's a fake log. This was the look I was going for. This is what they look like when they're not stained. I got that big pile over there. Got another big pile over there. I got another 16 sheets of uh, beadboard to paint. Anyway, it's a lousy day here today. Rain. Generator's going in the background. My batteries are shot. Hopefully I'll have new ones uh, tomorrow night. I'm going to walk you inside now and show you what's been going on here real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, we got the wall up inside here. The water heater's been moved to its final resting place. As you walk in here, you see the floor is down. The beams up, we're starting to put ceilings in. Starting to bring the logs in, fake logs. It's insulated. Over there is all trimmed. We're starting over here in this corner. We're gonna fill that little corner in with logs. The log boards trim out this wall trim out that wall and when that happens I can install the bathroom door and then the bathroom and my bedroom will be totally complete. So that's what it looks like. I'll be back later on today we'll see how far we get. We got two pieces of meat board up on the ceiling. That turned out really nice. I wish I would have used that in the whole house. Alright, I'll be back in a little while. We're going to start putting the, uh, the fake logs in. I can't wait. I'll be back later. Okay, here's a quick look at the end of day one. This was uh, quite a learning curve. Nobody's ever worked with this stuff before. And that's as far as we got. Tomorrow I should have the, we should have this wall, these walls here done. And then we're going to trim this out and start running it that way. And that'll be that. So I'll give an update tomorrow. Uh, more news coming. That's it for now. Okay, today is uh, Saturday, the 3rd of November. The Marky G's here now from the hamster. Brought me my uh, six 280-watt Trina solar panels from the Alt-E store. Black in the front, black in the back. There's the specs on them. Hopefully that's coming out. Those are hopefully going to get put up this week. We'll see. I got three more in the truck. Down on the bottom is the steel that I had pre-cut to make the solar trackers. If you look over then, there, you can see the batteries underneath. And then way in the back, which I haven't even seen yet, are my new batteries, my nano cell batteries. Nano carbon rather. Alright, I'll be back in a minute when we get this unloaded and show you some more. And the steel, by the way, anybody buying steel? That doubled in price from from 2015. That last order was uh, 600 change. That was 600 and change, and the one prior to that was a little over 300. So that's how much steel has gone up. It's crazy. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm just unloading my uh, Outback Energy Cell 200 nanocarbon batteries. These are made for off grid. They're designed to live in a partial state of charge. These batteries are good for 2,700 trips at 50% depth of discharge with a two-year warranty. I only paid $200 more for these than I could have got eight 200 amp hour VMAX tanks that are good for 900 trips to 50% depth of discharge with a one-year warranty. These got a two-year warranty. I wanted the PLC batteries, but oddly enough, they discontinued them. I knew it was too good to be true. So I got eight of these nanocarbon batteries. 178 amp hours a piece. They come with these bus bars, which for my installation is not going to work so good. I got eight of them so I can do 24 volts and down the road. If I ever have a problem with my inverter, I'm just going to get a MagnaSign and go 48 volts. So eight of these batteries will allow me to do that. So that's what I got. They finally got here. They were made in October 2018. I waited a month for these. They took a month. I guess they make them probably as you order them. Again, I got these from the Alti store. Very nice people to deal with. They gave me a good deal on these batteries and the solar panels. So I'll be showing more as the day goes along. Hopefully, I'm going to get two solar trackers up here this week. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. So anyway, these are 132 pounds a piece. So we're going to unload and get them on the floor. I'll be back as uh, things progress.